wow, we really did it. But more importantly, I did it. They said it couldn't be done, but who are they anyway? I'll tell you who they are. They're the people who have no place in Steve Murray's Toronto. Traitors to my vision, or people with poor vision, who couldn't make out my name on the ballot. Regardless, they are the weak and I will hunt them down. One by one, and dump them in a field just outside of town to scurry away to Hamilton, the way a hippie would deal with a mouse that they found in their apartment. Now I ran on a lot of promises, and I'm here to tell you today that, ultimately, those were made just to get elected. This is an amazing job with a sweet paycheck, and I wanted it really bad. And look at me now. Look at me now, Dad. I'm mayor of an entire city, and you can never hurt me ever again. So, if my promises are no longer on the table, what can one expect from Steve Murray's Toronto? For starters, anyone who's ever wronged me will go to jail by nightfall tomorrow. Any woman who has rejected my advances, starting with Jill Dunlop back in grade 4, will wear a scarlet letter S, visible at all times. I will still fire half a city council, but mostly because I've never been to Scarborough Agincourt or York South Weston, and frankly, I never will, and I don't give a shit about them. Will I hunt men for sport? I will neither confirm or deny, because that would ruin the surprise. Suffice it to say, if I do, children will not be harmed, because there will be no children in Toronto with my new zero child policy. Uh, blah blah blah, hope and change, new vision, death races. Uh, in any case, now is the time to celebrate. Thank you for your support. And if you ever need anything from me, swing on by my office. I'm sure we can work something out. Thank you, good night.